Welcome to the Point Second Podcast. My name is James Keeley. With me, as always, is Sammy Schaefer. Hey, everyone. How are you, Sammy? Good. How about you? Good. We're at episode 31. Nice. Available Thursday, December 14th, 2023. 11 days from Christmas. Wow. Got a lot to do still? It's a... Uh... I, no, I have my list done. I just keep forgetting to go online and ordering it. Yes. So I just got to make the order. Step one's complete. <laughs> yeah. Step two through five, you're kind of lacking on. And it's getting close. It's getting close. Mm-hmm. We're getting there. They're not going to deliver a lot of things, and you don't want to have to wrap things on Christmas Eve. <laughs> no. That's when you coast, and yeah. you have some drinks, and there's a lot of football on Christmas Eve. Yep. Be prepared fans and friends. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a good day. Sammy, what do we got in the show? We have Game Day Food, A Bad Mommy, and our favorite Christmas movies. All right, Sammy. Episode 30 was fantastic. Another quick hitter. Yeah. People seem to like those. Yep. In and out. Don't waste our time. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. We had a shocking answer to Sammy to the Limit. 65 year old has she called you Sharon Stone no and I'm I've been you know I've been trying to DM her she's just not listening to me you, you watching a little uh, basic instinct and being like everything because the, the off chance she actually responds I gotta be ready don't if you're gonna go out with her mm-hmm. here's my advice yeah don't watch basic instinct and hope for the same result currently okay <laughs> we all know what we're talking about there yeah. it's a whole different scene she <laughs> spoke about how easy she was back then it's, it's not going to be the same Scene from that movie. It's changed. Different season for sure. Yeah. She seems delightful. <laughs> Not a headache. Let me know if she calls. Okay. I currently am on the seas. I don't think we've capsized yet. No. So I know you're looking for, you know, oh my God, I, the shoulder would be the same. Who can I get? I watch the news every day hoping for it. You want the big seat. You want the sign. Yeah, everything. All of it. I want your life. <laughs> I want your life. <laughs> They're putting on weight, balding. <laughs> well, that's already going. Uh, well, well, thanks for uh, taking a break from your vacation. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, a chopper in. We got a big nice. budget on this show. A Disney chopper. Disney chopper. Yeah. When, you, when you, yeah, Pluto flies, <laughs> it goes crazy. He's a terrible pilot. I believe. It. Yeah. Have you seen the cartoons? Yeah. It's not the same in real life. Uh, I don't have legs anymore. You know what? I'm sorry. I do have to correct something I said in an early episode. Uh-huh. Uh, I said my parents took me once to Disney and never took me again. And my mom called me immediately and said she did take me twice. Wow. I was young enough where I thought it was one trip. So yeah. my mistake. The first trip was a disaster. They did bring us back, and it was a good second trip. On behalf of the Point Second Podcast, Mr. Schaefer, we apologize for misinformation <laughs> for this one. You know who who didn't catch that? Hmm. Uh, mix up your father who doesn't watch. <laughs> no, he hasn't. I think he watched the first episode. <laughs> Just say whatever you want. Yeah. You <laughs> won't know at all. <laughs> all right. Normally we do some uh, some picks here. Okay. But we're, we're we're filming a little bit ahead of time, uh, and I looked at the schedule. Not a great schedule. They're starting uh, the Saturday NFL games now, which is fun, but. Here are the Saturday games. It's Vikings at Bengals, mm-hmm. Steelers at Colts, Broncos at Lions. Broncos at Lions might have been good if the Broncos kind of lived up to what they were supposed to be with Russell Wilson, but they're not fun to watch at all. They've yeah. had a couple of good games, but... Yeah, they hurt me a couple weeks ago. Yeah, they mm-hmm. did. They let down Sammy's pick. I just need that one extra field goal. How could you? Mm-hmm. Like, vikings Bengals, you know, week one looked okay. Yeah. Um, but there's, there's nothing there. Steelers-Colts, that's, that's another... Ugh. I mean, I'll watch it, and I'll find something to gamble on there. Of well, course. I'm coming back from my amazing cruise that day. but uh, So we'll see. I mean, is there a solution to this? You can't flex matchups, so you can't you know, mix and match. You can't say, well, we'll put the Lions with the, um, you know, against the Colts or something. Like you, But you could flex the games. Mm-hmm. Um, you could put something into the Saturday spot. But I looked at the schedule, and there's only really two games. And, and again, like, this is early, so maybe there's injuries. But Ravens at Jags and Cowboys at Bills. I mean, those are two good games if everybody's, you know, the, the main players are healthy. But other than that, it's kind of a bad week. We will find some stuff, though, I think, and we will post it on X yep. or uh, Insta, and uh, we'll get back on the horse. Hopefully last week went really well. Don't know, no. obviously. Uh, but we'll, we'll we'll get there. And, uh, and we'll be back next week with... Uh, uh, back to the regular shows and the regular schedule programming, but uh, for today we're gonna uh, we're gonna eat. We're gonna talk some movies. We're gonna talk a little news. All right, nice. Let's get to it. Is this game day food? 
Sammy, it's time for everybody's favorite food game. Is this game day food? Mm -hmm. What do we got today, Sam? We've got Popeye's Wings. They've got five signature flavors, uh, Signature Hot and Honey Barbecue, or two different ones, sorry. Roasted Garlic Parmesan, Sweet and Spicy, and Ghost Pepper. Yeah, so we got three, uh, three out of the five. Mm -hmm. I, we went away from the Signature Hot after that debacle we had with uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, something That's else. like their hottest flavor. So we've got Roasted Garlic Parmesan, Sweet and Spicy, and then the third one is Ghost Pepper. So let's do the Ghost Pepper last. Okay. I'm I going like with it. All right. Uh, we got a th three of these, so let's try them together. All right. Let's start uh, with uh, the Roasted Let's start with Roasted Garlic Parm. All right. So these, uh, I mean, they're not, not necessarily like the meatiest, biggest looking wings, you know? No. Not next to these big old yeah, those man paws. paws. You know, and this one's got the Parmesan sauce di dripped over it. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. You know, it's wings, so we've already started on the right tip. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> we got to go back for more, so that's a good sign, I think. Popeyes has a like, natural heat to theirs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something in their actual like breading, right? Yeah. Okay, right. so I'm gonna roast. The, gonna rate the garlic parm here. Okay, I think you were good with this, but I didn't think you loved it. I think you gave this a six point seven, seven point three. Okay. Yeah, I actually thought they did a good job with the chicken. You know, like yeah. it juicy. It wasn't overcooked or dry or anything like that. Yeah. I think you were not as much as me, but I think you liked it. I gave. I think you gave it a six point nine. I gave it a seven point two. I liked it. Well, well, I thought it was pretty good. Very similar page there, yeah. All right, let's keep going. What do we got next? Um, the next would be let's do sweet and spicy. Sweet we'll and work spicy. our way up to that ghost yeah. pepper. Sweet and spicy right. nope. again. Get a little juice. We'll see. That's a, that's a man hand, and that's a little drumette. Brisket. Yeah. All right. Hmm. That's got a familiar flavor. That sweet. I mm -hmm. can't tell what it is. Some kind of like Asian sweetness to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got that for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, you give the first one what? Seven point three. Okay. I'm thinking you're right around there. I think you're at seven point two on this, like a little less. I like it a little more, seven point five. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. All I'm, right. Now I, I agree with you. I think you liked it a little bit less, so I'm going again with the six point nine. Six point eight. Well oh, done, okay. sir. I got it. Well you know, played. Oh, it's six point nine, six point seven. I wasn't sure which way to go. Yeah. That was good. I mean, they're good. It was. I liked the sweet and spicy more than the parmesan. I thought it was, but the chickens were both. They were both good wings. They're both good wings. You know, mm. fast food wings can be a dicey situation. Yeah, the breading's pretty good on those. Mm. You know, when they're dried out, oh god, it's the worst. I think good or bad. I'm not sure who's gonna like this either way. There's there's not a whole lot of meat on these. Yeah, you know. So if you're looking for that like meaty meaty bone bone in wing. No, but the flavor's there. What's the price on like a six pack of these? Uh, I think it was like I, I, I paid twenty bucks for three uh, set three sets of six. Okay, that's okay. not terrible. No, the way prices are these yeah. days. Mm -hmm. All right, last one. Is this a bad idea? I I don't know. Ghost pepper sounds. <laughs> Considering the first two had a, a little zing to them. All right, these ones are dry. They're dry. Still against small. Say. I went in big. Go all in. I'm like waiting for it to hit me, you know. All right. What was your last score? Uh, seven point five. Okay. You got a seven point three on this one. You like it a little I, less. I went way low. Really? Six point seven. Wow. And I'll tell you why. Um, I was waiting for that spice, and it never came. It was there. Yeah. But I thought ghost pepper was gonna be hard to eat, and it was about the same. And okay. I think you went down. I think you did the same, 6.5. No, I liked it. That's my favorite. I gave this a 7.4. Oh, wow. It I'm just seemed like there was, you know, it got the spice right to me. I didn't think there was a lot. That's the thing. I, I guess maybe I ghost pepper, I expected it to be spicier. And it was, it had spice to it, but not much. Yeah. This was like the crispiest of it. The sweet and sour sauce, I don't know. That's lost on me. Mm -hmm. I don't really like, um, like a lot of honey stuff on the wings as much. Okay. So I like either more spicy or some garlic. Roasted go the roasted garlic was my uh, second favorite. The, honey, the, the ghost pepper was my first. I, I think I'd like the ghost pepper with some ranch. Yeah. I think dipping, that would taste the best, but by itself, yeah, I did. I thought it was okay. Overall, though. All game day food. It's all game day oh, food. Oh, yeah, you put all these flavors in front of me, I'll drink and eat these all day. I got to tell you, Popeyes, mm -hmm. we're not looking for a sponsor. 
you know, we're gotcha. very. But you guys have you guys have come to play twice. Twice you guys came with some some and that good crust stuff. damage and other mm-hmm. wings. Mm-hmm. All right, and and Popeyes isn't. I never think to go to Popeyes when I'm hungry. Yeah, but I'm really uh, they're an underdog. Yeah, they really are. I I try not to go because I know that it's going to be like um, when Buddy Loves Watch like goes to zero and just like Sherman Clump comes and explodes. As soon as I have that food, <laughs> it's like oh Miss Purdy, oh, I'm back. Like I try to avoid places that I know. I'm going to balloon up immediately after I have their meal. <laughs> so sorry, Popeyes. That's what you do to people mm. you, with the water retention that you have after after the food you serve. So it's good, but mm. I try to drive past it as fast as I can because I know I know that little guy that lives in my stomach is going turn left. <laughs> Sometimes it's worth it. Worth it. This you is know? good tonight. Yeah. This is good tonight. But I'm trying to get into a bathing suit <laughs> on my cruise and not feel ashamed of my body. <laughs> So, all right, game day food for sure. Good job, Popeyes. Well, let's talk about some Christmas movies. Sam. All right. We're 11 days away. Mm-hmm. So we have like at least 10 and a half days to watch Christmas movies. At least. But we don't need 10 and a half movies. We're picking five. Nice. Now, this was very hard for me. It was a, actually it was a very challenging five. Because the, there's, the, you know, the definition of it is that does it have to just be set during Christmas, mm-hmm. or does it have to be kind of Christmas centric? Yeah, um, I I kind of spliced in a little bit of both in here. I, I don't know. It's tough. If I was going to say one of the best movies, they wouldn't be what my list is. Yeah, um, but some of them are just like th- these are the ones I want to watch this year. I guess, mm-hmm. and, and and I think they're kind of the best. These are the ones I tend to watch every year come Christmas time. Yeah. I, I, now I believe. Christmas needs to be essential to the plot to yeah. be a Christmas movie. Right. But that's just me. Because you could do some of these. Like, you could do, you know, Die Hard and Labor Day. Yeah, you, no big deal. You could. They don't have a lot of Labor Day parties. No. And, <laughs> and that would be a first. T- 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 what is it? Taka? Takamoto or something? <laughs> the Plaza. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember. It's... Yeah. Some, some people are screaming at this thing. I, I'm right surprised now. you don't know. I'm, it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Um... So what are Is your top Yak- five? Yakamoto Plaza? I can't no, remember. I yeah, feel like right. it's not. Well, Jordan will probably let us know. Yeah. All right, well. It's so something Japanese. It's for sure. Uh, so we're starting five and working to one? Yeah. All right, so number five for me was Scrooge. Scrooge. With Bill Murray. Yes. Great movie. Uh, Nakatomi. I don't even have to look it up. Nakatomi, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. trying to do the slide look at that. I was like, yeah. The- <laughs> Nakatomi Plaza. <laughs> I love how your iPad called you out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not looking and cheating. All right, so number five, Scrooge. number five, Scrooge. Uh, number four, Elf. Yeah, essential. You know, it, actually, I didn't realize until later on that was Zoe Deschanel in that movie. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, she's charming in that. She's good in that. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like if I think she's a little. Um, she trades on that a little bit. Like, mm-hmm. look how cute and quirky. I oh, am. she made a whole series about that. I'm the new girl. <laughs> But she's very cute and charming you're, in that. You're spot on in person. Yeah. Let me you, got, you want to see a little... If you had bangs, I'd be like, oh, Zoe's here. You want to see a little De Chanel? <laughs> I'm the new girl. <laughs> Everybody's like, who's that? Who's that? Is that Zoe De Chanel in a Dolphins t-shirt? <laughs> Just me. New. <laughs> All right. All right. So that's number four. Number three, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Okay. You know, that's just a, a child in memory. Yeah. I, it's still funny. Me and my brother still quote that every now and then. So that's just, that's nostalgic gotta, for me. You got to get there. Uh, number two, Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay. I love that. I, I I almost put that number one. Tim Burton classic. Yes, absolutely. I almost put that number one, but number one, National Lampoon Christmas Vacation. That's, I think that's going to be high on everybody's uh, list. That's a, of course, it's a popular one for sure. You know, the classics are Miracle on 34th Street. Yeah. It's a Wonderful Life. Mm-hmm. It's a Wonderful Life gets so dark, though. Yeah. Oh, but, my God. Yeah. He goes from, Mary, i got to I got to lasso the moon for you to, we're out of money. I'm jumping off this bridge, Mary. <laughs> it gets dark. And then he's like, oh, I f- forget it. I'm happy again. <laughs> it was, you know, before bipolar was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's just, he's, you know, drunk, just running down the street. <laughs> yeah. It's so charming at some points, and it's so dark and disturbing. Mm. Clarence is just like, you can jump if you want, but <laughs> I'm telling you, it's probably a little better. I want you to shut up, Clarence! <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, there are really good ones. Way too many of them involve suicide. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's actually really bad that Christmas movies have that much suicide in them. 
Yeah, okay. the holidays are tough it's on some people. Really tough on people. They're very joyful, and then they're very like, "What's this gun taste like?" <laughs> just want to taste it. Maybe it tastes like eggnog. <laughs> I just want to see how far I'll pull the cock back. <laughs> um, yeah, like Lethal Weapons, very similar. Mm -hmm. Like in the beginning of the movie, Mel Gibson's sitting there and he's looking at the picture of his dead wife, and he's not enjoying that picture of his dead wife. No. Nope. But that movie, I think that's underrated. I really do. I think that movie's up there. I mean, that's everyone seems to love that movie. It's great. It's great. Mel Gibson's great in that. I think his movies went away because he became a nut. Gary Busey's great in that. Okay. A nut or exposing Hollywood for the pedophile ring that it is. I mean, a little bit of both. We'll see what history. <laughs> we'll see what history does to the legacy of Mel Gibson. But yeah, he, getting pulled over and called a cop sugar tits is probably not. <laughs> oh, sugar tit. I should do it, Mel Gibson. I gotta work on that one. <laughs> All right. Um, still working on my spader. Uh, okay, so here's my top five <sighs> that I want to watch this year. I don't know if this is my top five, maybe next year, but I want to watch Bad Santa. It okay. makes me laugh. I love Billy Bob Thornton in that. That's a, it's he, a good movie. He's so gruff and horrible. He is. I'm surprised it's top five for you. Yeah, but it is a it's a great movie. But top five Christmas movie. That's that's a surprise, but it's a good pick. I like that he doesn't take like a a real like. Uh, he doesn't completely change. Like, he changes his way. He has, like, the will to live a little bit more. Yeah. And he, you know, kind of... Uh, uh, but he's still, like, a low life. That movie only works because <laughs> he's a dysfunctional jerk. He's a total low life. Yeah. But they did Bad Santa, too. Mm -hmm. Not even worth watching. I, didn't, I don't think I saw it. It was terrible. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to watch Bad Santa. I'm going to watch Elf. Like Good you. Movie. Good movie, yep. Was that your four, too? That was number, number four? four, yep. Scrooged. Another one of yours. You know, good. I'm glad that that made your list, too. Yeah. I thought I was going to be an outcast on that one. Last year, Kitty and I sat down and watched Die Hard. Yeah. And it it holds up, man. It holds up. <laughs> it's such a good movie. I know. It's going to be a little hard this year because the great Bruce Willis is not doing that well. But, uh, Wait, was that your number two? That's my number two. Wow, okay. And number one. Real high up there. The unanimous choice of the Point Second Podcast, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Wow. Chevy's too good at that. He just, that'll be forever the best Christmas movie of all time. Beverly D'Angelo holds it down. Mm -hmm. I love the Clark Griswold character. Yeah. We, we all try to be that dad who makes, well, not all of us. I know some friggin' horrible, <laughs> like, where, where are the presents? Oh, you yeah. know? Like, mm. their wives do everything, and they're like, he's like, here's $20. Yeah, I definitely know. <laughs> I know one of those. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I know a few. <laughs> they just the wife does everything, and they're like, "This this eggnog's not as good as you know." They ruin the party. Mm. We're we're second dinner. <laughs> the wives work so hard. Um, but Clark Griswold works his ass off for his family. He's, so, I mean, that character is so he plays it so well. Nobody else, I think, could play that character. His like intentions he, are so good, and yeah. then he loses his shit every time. He tries to make the house the most beautiful house in the neighborhood, and one bulb is out, and he's just smacking everything. Just <laughs> watching him have a tantrum is just he threw art. Great tantrum. It's just art. It really is. Great tantrum. <laughs> like even in the first one, like there's a lot of things to navigate in there. Yeah. Like. He's 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 got the 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 car and he's driving his his uh, family cross country. Yeah, and then he sees Christy Brinkley in a Ferrari, and he's like, "What do I do?" <laughs> like, and he's sitting next to Beverly D'Angelo, yeah. who's so good looking then. Yeah, like just a gorgeous woman, and he's got the kids. But Christy Brinkley in a Ferrari in like 1984. Come on, we're all doing we're all doing a double take. Yeah, and you're 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 just like, I don't need this in my life. It's like the devil on his shoulder. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, I love the Clark Griswold character, and that's the number one for me. I that's watch that every year. It's no, so funny. I have a feeling we're gonna get some upset fans because a couple big, couple big movies didn't make our list. What didn't make it you know? for you? Um, well, a Christmas Story didn't make either of us. I know. And I really thought it'd make that's you. somebody. A big miss. Somebody is gonna be screaming in comments. How do you forget about Ralphie? Right. Bad Santa over a Christmas Story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was but me. there were a couple. Five was hard for me. Um, one of mine was uh, let's see. Gremlins, Gremlins, great movie. I that was on that was on my list of maybe of top five. I I, I always thought like uh, Gremlins would have been, would have been a different story if like Phoebe Cates would not have been scared of the Gremlins, but had gone with that bikini and been like, "Hey Spike, what's going on?" <laughs> Those Gremlins would have gone bananas. <laughs> yeah. They would have like like she could have like 
like ran like out the door, <laughs> and then they're chasing him. And then he can like blow torch the, the oh, gremlins. You yeah. gotta handle them. The gremlins would have been popping off, but it's just not from their back, from a different different area. Even gremlins wanted to see Phoebe Kate's top. Yeah, everybody in the 80s. wanted to see yeah. her top. So, in the 80s, yeah. yeah. Though you could have you could have gotten rid of those gremlins real quick if she's just like, hey everybody, <laughs> kachowie. <laughs> Is that how a woman opens her top? Is that uh, that's how a guy like me and you imagine them? Yeah. Doing it, but I don't think I've ever actually. If I was like, a, like, a, good, like pre a presentation. Yeah. If I was like a real wonderfully breasted woman, I don't... there you go. There you go, Gremlins. I solved this problem. I'll get this town whipped back into shape by uh, Christmas night. The movie's twenty minutes long. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Another one that probably gonna get screamed at that didn't make our list. Home Alone. Yeah, that's a big mess. Big one. Home know. Alone is really good. Now, again, Christmas definitely maybe isn't essential to the plot, but it is a Christmas movie. But that's why I, that was my number five, and I took it off right before we started. That's a super Christmas movie. I could have made that any time of year. Yeah. Go on vacation any time of year. No, 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 no. They were all trying to get somewhere for Christmas and then get back for Christmas because it was so important. The, 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 the Catherine O'Hara is like, I can't have my son alone on Christmas. Like, But what? You can do that Thanksgiving. You can do that on Easter. Now, Christmas is different. You know there's magic there. <laughs> That's true. Santa doesn't come on Easter. Okay, Christmas did help it bring it to a nice, fun family point, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Wet Bandits are hilarious they, in that movie. They were. They, they really did make that movie. I mean, it's a family movie until they get involved. It's still family, but then everyone loves Pesci it. Pesci and Daniel Stern oh, good. kill it in those roles. They're really funny. There's a lot of lines that, like, hit at that. Daniel Stern, I love everything he does. Yeah. Every movie, even his terrible ones, like Bushwhacked, I think it was called, oh, are wow. still hysterical. Okay. Uh, okay. You and I are going to have a fight right now. <laughs> you haven't seen, like, Gangs of New York or Taxi Driver, but you've seen Bushwhacked. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I love him. Daniel Stern is great. I don't watch many Daniel Day-Lewis movies. I'm more of a Daniel Stern kind of guy. <laughs> that sums you up right now. <laughs> Who's your favorite acting Daniel? Oh, Stern. Not a big Day-Lewis. <laughs> What's the matter with you? You got so mad. I'm very upset. You ruined this Christmas movie. <laughs> it's it. Podcast is done forever. Bye. We're we're just canceling the show right now. <laughs> Kitty, <laughs> you're back in. All right. And the Grinch. The Grinch. Did you like the it. Grinch? I did. I can't, yeah, I did. I actually really enjoyed it. I'm a huge Jim Carrey fan. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But he did great in that movie. Yeah. I'm a huge Jim Carrey fan as long as he's not dating my daughter. Yeah. Look it up. Wrong, yeah. Jim Carrey has not been a very good boyfriend. <laughs> one of the uh, one of the ex-girlfriends uh, did not have a uh, a wonderful outing with uh, Jim. Uh, Look it up. Let's not get that dark. Yeah. Jim Carrey yeah. apparently uh, did not have a great time uh, on the uh, Grinch movie and almost quit because he said it was torturous being in that makeup. It was like seven hours of makeup. And oh, we're like, All right, and then we're going to film for ten hours. And he's like, I hate being in this. I hate this thing. And he was going to quit. And one of the producers, I think it was Brian Grazer, was like, I met a guy that trains like CIA, CIA operatives or something mm -hmm. to handle like torture. So he teaches them techniques on like how to calm down while they're experiencing like torturous uh, wow. circumstances. So I guess the guy came in, helped Jim Carrey get through it. And, you know, he made the movie and it, I, I think it did very well. I never saw it. It's a good movie. I believe it. That that his costume for sure was it, it made the movie because it was so good. But I, I believe it. It took seven hours. You say I believe that. Yeah, he does. You know, and he he's he's so committed as that as those characters. Like he was the guy for the job on that. Um, so yeah, I'm okay. kind of imagining the CIA guy though. Like he goes through all this training, and then he's finally ready to go in the field. He's like, okay, I'm gonna help save the world. And they're like, nope, you're gonna go see Jim Carrey. Right, right. <laughs> After Hollywood everything. needs you. <laughs> Hollywood's more important. He's like, no, there's, there's American, you know, there's American uh, uh, soldiers being tortured. Well, this movie has to be out by Christmas. <laughs> yeah, maybe next year you can worry about. That's the way the world works. Here it is. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good top five. I'm sure we'll get a lot of heat for it. Let us know what we're wrong on. But I don't think uh, we're gonna we're gonna budge on National Lampoon's no, Christmas Vacation for sure. All right. Enjoy those movies, Sammy. What else is in the news? All right. So. Danielle Brigoli. Is yep. that how you say it? Brigoli? Brigoli. It's strangely close to my mom's maiden name, actually. And what, which is what? Uh, Brigolio. Oh. Yeah, maybe we're related. Oh. Anyways, Danielle Brigoli, also known as the rapper Bad Bobby. Bad, bad ba Barbie. Baby. Ba bad bad baby. baby. She spells it B-H-A-D, 
B H A B I E. So I don't blame you for not. Yeah, bad baby. Ba- baby. Bad, bad baby. Bad baby is pregnant with her first baby at the age of 20. Okay. Now, do you have any idea who this is? Okay, a couple things. First yeah. off, I don't know how young she was. Second off, I can't believe she's still relevant. So you know who she is? I saw the viral uh, Catch Me Outside. She's Catch Me Outside. And I heard one. she released a, a rap song. Yeah. That's but, her right there. Look at that little face. Wow. Look at that little face. She's real happy. Mm. But here she is now, knocked up at 20. She does not look 20. Like, she looks older than 20. Yeah. Uh, well, she's been riding since she's been uh, yeah. a, a youngster. Yeah, okay. She was on Dr. Phil <clears throat> when she was 13. Yeah. So, um, you know, she, she's had a, a, a lot of life there. Um, but she... Uh, so, first baby at 20. Okay. Now, we like, we like totals here. Mm-hmm. We never take an under... Uh, but I definitely would not have taken that over. No. She had teen bride, teen, not teen bride, but teen mom written all over her. Yeah. And I'm talking like 15 teen, not 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 the older teen. Yeah. So, yeah. But um, here's what she has made her money on. OnlyFans. Wow. Apparently $50 million on OnlyFans. That's her? That's her. Jesus. Yeah. But, okay, fine. That That's certainly your type. I, I'm just, I never would have thought that's the same person yeah. I saw in Dr. Phil. But they, yeah. But uh huh, yeah. So, um, but I just gotta think with all that, that baby's gonna be so happy. Oh, that baby's gonna have a wonderful life. That baby's gonna be messed up. I mean, we don't want to pass judgment here, but this does not seem like someone who's gonna be involved with like the PTA. Since when do you not pass judgment? Get out of here. All right, I'm trying harder. <laughs> it's almost the new year. It's resolution time. Uh, you know, you're right. I was being a, I was being full of shit there. <laughs> Bad baby's not going to be a great mom right off the bat. <laughs> no. Maybe she'll change her ways. Get off OnlyFans for $50 million first, and then... $50 million in OnlyFans. Sh me outside. That was really fun to watch. But you were also like, this girl's 13. This isn't going to go well. Mm. And it surprisingly has gone a little bit better than mm. you would think. I mean, she's got money. Yeah, I mean, she got $50 million just on that alone. $50 million. I know her. I think she had at least one song or an album that did well. Yeah. It, we reward really bad behavior in this yes, country. We, do. we yes, really we do. do. Like her mom should be ashamed of herself. She got her on that show. I know she's a tough teen. Be a mother. Be a parent. If you need to drag your kid to Dr. Phil to exploit that child on television and make their life harder, you're not doing the, the right job. Like But she made fifty million dollars, so she was kinda right. She made fifty million dollars doing what she definitely would have done in her spare time anyway. So yeah, that's true. I guess. <laughs> Um, speaking of wonderful people, what's next? Paris Hilton reveals she didn't change her son's diaper for one month after her arrival. Do you know anything about this? No. Paris Hilton uh, has two babies in the last year. Okay. Two babies. So not How twins. do you do that? Not twins. No. Okay. She had a baby, and then 11 months later, she had another baby. Don't they call that Irish twins or something like that? Well, not for her, okay. because she paid for them. It was a gestational surrogacy. Oh. So I don't know if she donated eggs or what, but she was like... She made some bullshit excuse, like she has too much anxiety to carry babies. Okay. Even though she's just a prima donna. She's like, I, I heard that if you have a baby, you get fat sometimes. <laughs> like she is so awful. She's like, she said she didn't want to tell anybody in her family, and she just showed up one day with a baby. <laughs> she was like, you guys, guess what? I have a baby now. That sounds definitely like a Paris Hilton move. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And she said, I didn't tell anybody about um, the babies coming. Because I didn't want them, I wanted I wanted them to have some privacy. I was, you know, I was born in the spotlight, and I, I'm like, no, she was not born in the spotlight. No one cared the heiress of a, no. a hotel chain. I mean, she was born into money, but not the spotlight. Yeah, she was, she she tried to be a socialite, mm-hmm. and that's how Kim Kardashian got famous because she was like her best friend and their stylist or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and then Kim outshone her. Well, I mean, Kim got famous another way. Kim, well, Kim got famous in another way. Yeah. And then she, and, and then Paris wanted to get famous in another way. Mm. So she's got uh, this show called Paris and Love. Okay. Season two is where she like reveals these babies. Not not One Night in Paris, which is a total different movie. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You can Google that. I'm going to watch that one. No yeah. One. It's, uh, it's, she's also bad at that. You don't want to watch it. <laughs> She's not good at anything. Uh, but here's... It, it, it's it's total exploitation of a baby. Mm. A lot of people online are saying that this is like her new, like, 
like a teacup dog in a purse kind of thing. Oh, it's just an accessory. And, and you hate to be like uh, grizzled and say like that's true. But what has she given us any indication that this is not just another ploy for attention? Mm-hmm. Like here she is, you know, and that's you know that's that's who she wants to be. Yeah. And then she tries this with the baby, and it's you know it, it lacks charm. I mean, it's a very cute little baby. Mm-hmm. You know, he didn't do anything wrong, but that poor son of a bitch is gonna have a, a, a rough a rough time. Uh, I mean, that's his mother. That you know, Miami. and she's not she's not she's just not doing uh she's not doing any of the work. I didn't change his diaper for a month, so she's not even she's kind of like she's not attached to that baby. No, because like maternal instincts kick in. Yeah, so she's not. She's not nursing the baby, obviously, because no. she didn't... At least I don't think you can. I don't know what the situation... But I'm sure she's not. Like, she's not doing anything. She's handing that off and going, like, bring it back when it smells. Nice. Yeah, she's really like, it's going to damage my nipples. Yeah. The moment that that baby drops a load in that diaper, she's like, ew, and just throws it to someone. I'm out. Yeah. She said, I, I felt weird about telling my mom, so I bought her a blue Chanel handbag first to soften the blow <laughs> that I didn't tell her I was having a baby. These people live... In a fantasy world. Absolutely. They do not know anything about, uh, like, they, they, they should not be responsible for the life of a tiny little person. I mean, I Especially not two. I could imagine coming home with a baby, not telling my mom, but I try to win her over with a Chanel bag. Yeah. My mom would murder me. Well, and that's that shows you kind of what that Kathy Hilton and that whole family's about. It's yeah. like, my, like, if you give mom a gift, she'll, she'll be fine. Yeah. Because she loves handbags even more than she loves... Secrets and betrayal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, apparently, uh, Howard Stern, in a Howard Stern interview, Tina Fey said Paris Hilton was the only like uh, guest on the show that was someone she hated. Really? She called her a piece of shit and said up close she looked like a tranny. This was years ago. But still. Said Tina Fey said that? Tina Fey said this. And oh. Tina Fey is like ultra liberal, like, you should not use wrong pronouns. I like, like Tina Fey. She looks like a tranny. <laughs> Again, it was a while ago, but she still said it. Um, but yeah, this is just another instance. It, 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 Paris says in here, she's like, you know, we need to respect the privacy of, of my babies. And it's like on the season two premiere, she she shows the baby on camera to everybody and springs it on her family. Yeah. This is a bad person. I've never watched any of those shows. I used to watch, I watched maybe like two episodes of that show where she and that Nicole Richie were like on farms or something. Yeah, I forgot what they called it, but yeah, I didn't. And they watch just said that's hot the whole time. I didn't watch any of that. Oh god, it was horrible. It looked terrible. Nicole Richie just seemed like a like a mean girl supreme too. Yeah, yeah. The Simple Life, maybe that sounds right. The Simple Life. Yeah. yeah. So anyways, there's there's. I love that we're like Christmas movies with your family and then two horrible potential mothers. <laughs> that's how we roll at PTP. Yeah, we don't care. <laughs> 11 days till Christmas. We'll be back for the Tuesday show. We'll get more Christmassy then. Mm. I'll be back for my trip. Nice. I should look amazing. Yeah, you will. Amazing. <laughs> like Rush Limbaugh with a tan. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Follow us on X at, at Points Take a Pod, Instagram, Points Take a Pod, and we will see you on Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Bye.